Hello everybody, welcome to Cracked Up Games, and welcome to my first reaction video for today's Nintendo Direct. Um, should be starting in just a minute. A um, couple theories I have for this Direct. Um, I've heard, I've read some rumors that there might be something F-Zero related and something Donkey Kong related. Um, it would be nice to see new games for either of those series, but kind of tapering my expectations. It could just be F-Zero X and Donkey Kong 64 being added to the Switch Online for the N64 stuff. Um, and as always, there's been rumors swirling around for a couple years now about Twilight Princess and Wind Waker HD getting ported to Switch. I would love to see those. Um, like, got at this point, Wind Waker HD is pretty much the only reason I still have my Wii U. Yes, I have one of those. Um, I know that AJ Alnuma said there's not going to be any DLC for Tears of the Kingdom, so not going to expect to see any of that. They just had a Mario Bros. Wonder Direct recently, so I don't think we'll see any of that, but we may see, um, stuff for the... Untitled Princess Peach game that they revealed in the last Direct, and we may see more for the Mario RPG remake, which would be pretty cool, because I've never actually played that game. Um, other than that, I don't know what I really expect to see. Um, kind of hoping maybe we'll see, like, a new Fire or Hyrule Warriors, because I would love to see one with, like, Tears of the Kingdom characters, more... Ocarina of Time stuff. Um, maybe some of the handheld Zelda games um, would be really cool to see. Oop, and we're starting. I will shut up now. Oops, Splatoon. Haven't they already released a reveal of the Splatoon 3 DLC? Or is there more? Okay, not sure what that is. Okay, why is this giving me like near automata vibes? Um, never played played Splatoon 3. How is this? Um, the only Splatoon game I've played is 2. I'm not too big on online multiplayer stuff, so... Didn't really get the most out of it. Okay. Green skinned Octoling? That's weird. But what's actually going on here? Oh, interesting. Kind of like a roguelike mode? Uh, like random generation? Hello, everyone. That told me I'm very Shinji little. Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. You just saw a new trailer for Wave 2 of the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass DLC, Side Order. This brand new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you will strengthen your character's abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. We are developing this single-player DLC so it can be played over and over again. It's planned to release in spring 2024, so please look forward to it. That's actually a pretty long ways away. Okay, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Also, I know there's room. 
the toys oh, are back in town. Interesting. Something from Mario vs. Donkey Kong related. Donkey Kong. Mario. New gamer. Remake. The rivalry that heated up on the okay. Game Boy Advance Remake system of the original reignites Mario vs. on the Donkey Nintendo Kong. Switch system. That was cool. With his eyes on the prize. Donkey Kong has stolen all the well, Mario toys Donkey Kong from the factory. Then. And it's up to Mario to track him down. In each stage, contraptions and other challenges await. Sounds like they're reusing Charles Martinet soundbite to their success. He's retired Mario from the role. Mario needs to reach the key, but he can't quite cross the gap. Hmm. That monkey's tail looks a little suspicious, though, doesn't it? Yeah. If Mario does this... I know there's rumors circulating around about, like, now the can get across. Nintendo Switch 2, but I don't... Safely I strongly grab doubt we'll see something for that this early. Platform too high? That'd be something with a handstand at jump the or a back earliest for, like, like a winter that. direct, I feel like. Observe and act to collect mini Marios, clear stages, and face Donkey Kong head on. Never actually played Mario vs. Donkey Kong, so I'm not in this sure how updated version like, of the faithful game, this is to the original. In local co -op. Oh, interesting. Co -op, huh? That's cool. However you choose to puzzle your way I feel like that could break some of these stages, the though. Toys. Make things a little too easy. Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Launches on Nintendo Switch. Because like the original 16. was a GBA game, so it's not very long to begin with. I feel like co-op would make it shorter unless they add new content. Save the prince. Oh, the new the Prince of Persia. This actually looks cool. Guide Sargon as he sets off to save the Prince of Persia and restore the world's balance. Tapping into the roots of the uh, uh, Prince of Persia series, this game features 2D side-scrolling action-adventure gameplay. Dash yeah, this looks cool, actually. environments in a mythological Persian-inspired world. I like Metroidvania-type games. Hope to I like games with a lot of momentum ability, or mobility, as well skills, as time and powers this to fix these both. hostile lands. As your journey progresses, Sargon will grow stronger and learn new abilities that expand his arsenal. Equip amulets to further boost your abilities, among other perks. The number of amulets you like can equip is limited, Hollow Knight so system. choose wisely. Use everything at your disposal to navigate That's this a harsh big world metaphor. and defeat the mythical beasts that and stand in your way. That's a big boss fight, the for sure. And discover the Flashy. mysteries of Mount Ka. When Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, launches on the Nintendo Switch system Does it really January have to specify 18, it's an Ubisoft you can original? You in-game Warrior Within outfit by pre-ordering the game from Nintendo eShop. It's like Ubisoft owns Prince of Persia. Who else would it be? These games will help you chase your passions. Rev up for true arcade racing in Not Horizon the Chase fan of, 2. Like, Speed racing games. stunning environments, each with its own dynamic art style. I like the Burnout series, but your and like on the road. stuff like Mario Kart, Play but the main more to unlock vehicles, generic racing more. games I'm not the biggest fan of. You can also of. upgrade your vehicle and style it to fit your high-octane needs. Also, that's something Pitching we can see is the action, next Mario Kart 8 four Deluxe. Can put the pedal to um, the metal in couch co-op or thing. online. Go full Booster throttle pass, in Horizon Chase 2, launching on Nintendo Switch later today. Warm up for musical mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. Oh, Konami. Time your button presses with the music to solve puzzles and battle bosses. Over 30 oh, thrilling tracks Beetlejuice. away, including music from iconic Konami games. Okay, not gonna lie, I actually really like this. It out in this versus is cool. Modes, or jam together in local or online play. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle launches I'm on Nintendo really Switch big on November 14th. So that actually looks begin cool. today on Nintendo eShop. And some Konami stuff, especially like Castlevania, has some amazing music tracks. Oh, Spy X Family. Anya Forger has a new assignment from school: creating a photo diary. On weekdays, you'll head to class. Then enjoy family time in the evening. Fantastic on manga and anime. Off, you can by visit the way. all sorts of exciting um, places. Like the beach I like it or an art would, museum but it's in search of subjects been, it's to photograph. Great. Very How endearing. Do you spend characters. your time with friends and family. And what kind of photo diary will you help Anya make? 
Spy Anya Operation Memories launches on Nintendo Switch next year. That's kind of neat. That's cute. Mario's first uh, yep, RPG Mario adventure RPG. returns. The Figured Super we'd see Mario something more about RPG this. game is back with updated Curious graphics. Curious what on gameplay editions? Let's go over some this? new and returning um, gameplay features. In the reveal trailer, it looked like there were your button kind of like some cinematic to super attacks damage or something? Dealt or decrease damage received. When you time your attacks perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. That's different. Every successful action command will fill this gauge. When that's it's different full, too. You can unleash the three character okay, triple move. So, uh, that's new. Depending on your current party, the move will change. So experiment oh, with that's different actually combos. Cool. So there's um, specific combination types. During oh, your hello, adventure, booster. you'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. Oh, well, that's actually cool. Some post game content. But these powered up bosses aren't gonna be easy. Honestly, I'd really like a new set up for adventure. Like a new Mario Paper Mario in the original when style, Super but Mario RPG this kind of feels the same the void Nintendo since Switch Paper Mario is kind of a successor to Mario RPG Pre -orders anyways. Are available now on Nintendo eShop. November 17th, nice. Hey. Uh, uh. Look alive. We're almost there. <sighs> oh! <sighs> the Nintendo DS game, Trace Memory, returns awesome. on the Nintendo Switch system as another code to memories. One day, a young girl Trace named memory. Ashley cool. receives a letter from the father she thought had passed away. Seeking answers, she sets off for it's the like solitary a really cool, blood like, Edward supernatural Island mystery game. Him. Once there, Ashley encounters oh. puzzles and obstacles that hinder her investigation. Mm. I love puzzle games like this. <gasps> Can you see What's up, me? Dee? She also meets a mysterious boy. What truths await Ashley in this place? Deep. And no matter how hard I try. Also, I, I love how they just say mysterious face. boy when he is very clearly a ghost. <laughs> Who are you? The sequel, Another Code R, Journey into Lost Memories, Ooh. previously unreleased uh, in North America, uh, is also it? included. Oh, that's so cool. This is like Juliet, huh? Play both games to Ooh, experience I'm have to pick the full this up. story. Unravel oh, this is cool. Adventures. Also, it is so pretty. For Nintendo Switch, when another the new code, visuals look amazing. Collection launches January 19th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Oh, I want this. Another code recollection includes two games, the Nintendo DS game Trace Memory and its Wii sequel, which was never released in oh, North okay. America. So the Both games are fully enhanced on Nintendo Switch. Please look forward to playing them early next year. Visuals look so pretty. Next, please take a look at this. Oh, yep, here's the Princess Peach game. <laughs> you know, I never day, played Super a Princess Toad Peach. Presented a flyer um, advertising a show about with this. a sparkle Peach theater. More spotlight. Princess Peach and some Toads went to go see it, but then. Oh. The wicked grape and the sour oh, suddenly made sorry, their wicked grand entrance grape? and took center stage. But yeah, like new Wario game when exactly? Now, it's, it's up been to a Peach long time since the, the last Wario Guardian platformer. Stella to save the play and the day. This perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. Getting some Paper Mario Luckily, vibes with the Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the Sour Bunch. Okay. That's kind of cool. The ribbon alone won't always cut it, though. So let's do this. Whoa! Peach transformed into oh, Sword Fighter Peach. Oh, I actually like that. By That's really cool. By transforming, she can use fantastic show-stopping abilities. Fend off the Sour Bunch with sensational cool, sword play. That is cool, actually. That is not something can I Peach from Princess Peach, but I'm all for it. Its performers? 
there are more stolen shows to save. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Become Detective Peach, investigate clues, and track down who done it. I'm liking this so far. This looks really cool. Desserts have been snatched from this sweets festival. Turn into Patissier Peach and save it from a sugar crash. The Sour Bunch got their hands on this martial arts school. Become Kung Fu Peach and take it back from these foul fiends. Oh, okay. That's cool. Many other transformations are just behind the curtain. The stage is set. Our leading All right, you've got my interest. For the spotlight. I like how each Princess Peach theater kind of has makes its debut gimmicks. on Nintendo Switch March 22nd. Okay. That's Pre further out than I expected, today but on Nintendo that's Wii cool. Shop. I like that. That guy looks interesting. That was a new look at Princess Peach Showtime. In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today, so please stay tuned. Let's continue with some more headlines. A new saga oh, begins. New saga thing? A multi layered RPG. I suck. I've only played away. like the, the worst saga, saga game. Beyond. Interesting. There are six heroes to choose from. I need to actually play more of the series. A young man the only one I played is, puppets. I think it was Unlimited Saga. On... A witch disguised as a schoolgirl to mask her identity. PS2? A crime fighting think... duo chasing um, down a mysterious bad. organization. <laughs> a songstress like, mech who lost her difficult. voice and body. And a king of darkness who was recently reawakened. Nice hat. Select a hero, then follow their journey through 17 interconnected worlds as they strive oh, to cool. achieve their goals. How the story unfolds is in your hands. The art style the choices is a you little make weird, can unlock like different the shading paths, and more than stuff. ever before kind seen in Saga franchise. Look, I'm not the biggest fan of. Fight in timeline battles, turn based combat in which oh. turn order is I'm crucial sorry, to victory. Cap. Use special techniques Just to control the order cap. of actions. Or Overly large team black combos cat. to swing the tide of battle in your favor. Okay. Cool. Saga Emerald well, Beyond cool. launches on Nintendo Switch next year. May have to check that out. Like I said, I'm playing many soccer games. So the Legendary be... Raider returns. Oh. Tomb Raider? Remaster? The first three Tomb Raider games, all with upgraded visuals, are nice. venturing onto Nintendo Switch in one daring I've collection. I've never actually played the classic As games. The I just played the, um, Lara Croft. You the, travel the world recent and face trilogy. off against deadly foes and even For the most part, legends. I'm still playing Climb, Rise of the Tomb Raider. If I've played the first one and, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yeah, I've never played the original trilogy. So that's cool. And mythologies. Along the way, you'll I solve puzzles to uncover treasures of the ancient world and unravel mysteries. Can this even really be considered a remaster? Because this faithfully like remastered trilogy entirely comes with all new the expansions here. and secret levels. Looks more like a game. visual remake. You can also toggle between the original polygon look and the upgraded visuals at any time. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered, starring Lara Croft, launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Oh, is it developed by Aspire? This detective's got a second the detective bolt Pikachu of brilliance. Sequel. I forgot this was a thing. I'm shocked they're even making this Everything after how long it was since the first one. Early. This is Rhyme City, a place where humans and Pokemon coexist. The movie was good, though. The detective duo really like the detective Pikachu, Pikachu movie. and his partner Tim investigate various cases while searching for Harry, Tim's missing father. Tim interviews people, Pikachu interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. They'll also rely on other Pokemon to broaden the scope of their investigations. Growlithe. Follow Sense oh, with cool. Growlithe. Smash Rocks with Darmanitan. And peer through walls with Luxray. I didn't know Luxray's had extra Can vision. Tim and Pikachu solve all the mysteries and find Harry? Hello, me too. Find out when Detective Pikachu returns. Launches on Nintendo Switch October 6th. 
That's actually really Pre orders soon. are available now on Nintendo eShop. Yeah, never played the first one of that either. This kinda surprised they didn't re-release it on Twitch. Toot. Interesting. Trombone Champ is getting a Switch port. Raise your brass for the quirky rhythm game, Trombone Champ. Play the notes in time with the music as best you can. But how you play that horn is up to you. Okay, the only problem that I have with this the pitch up is, with, despite how funny and meme-worthy it is, IR motion camera on the I right think it sounds awful. The controls are and again, I'm a very audio-oriented person, as I've said in some of my videos before. Be a walk in the park. I don't think I'd be able Talk to actually play this seriously. Songs spanning various genres, from classical to electronica, and everything in between. Oh god. The oh, so four musicians can band together in local multiplayer. Trombone Champ slides onto Nintendo Switch later today. No, thank you. Battle your way to victory in these Nintendo Switch games. Ten teams of three will duke it out for survival in this online battle royale like brawler. Knock battle your opponent's health down to That's zero different. and deliver a finishing blow. Or shove them off the collapsing terrain to win. Choose from 15 heroes, each inspired by a different mythology. Work with your allies to be the last team standing. It actually looks a little bit neat, but Battle again, I don't really do all my multiplayer type first stuff. For consoles on Nintendo Switch next spring. A closed beta test will be available this October. Lead your mercenaries to fame and fortune in this open world tactical Fortnite. RPG. Take up various contracts from protecting townsfolk from thieves. To okay, not gonna lie, the land's most notorious figures. First really Before battle, make me equip your mercenaries with the best very gear and skills to claim victory and live to see another day. Up to four players online can jointly command a troop and journey together across this vast world. War Tales launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch later today. Yeah. Run and gun Contra? in this reimagining of the beloved NES classic Contra. Oh, interesting. Blast uh, reimagining of the original Contra. stages with a devastating arsenal of weapons to crush the Red Falcon forces. That's kind of interesting. Spring into action with easy pick up and play controls and a variety of difficulty options. This reimagining from Konami and Way Forward. The original Contra is like really short, though, so I'm enemies. curious if they're gonna Powerful add super stuff attacks. To Bulk this one and out. Four player co op mode. Contra player? Operation Galuga storms onto the Nintendo Switch system early next year. Liberate your kingdom, reclaim your destiny. Tis a grievous tale which speaks of Feverth, one of stolen destiny, stolen minds. And stolen nations. Why does this music make me think Yet Zone of the, the Enders? world stands consumed by immense evil, a fallen prince shall rise again, ring of legend lighting his path. That is the ring of the unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil. Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. What is this? It, I, I will, love these sprites. Freely traverse an expansive world. The 2D art in this game is gorgeous. Gather new allies, forge your bonds, I have and no lead idea what the I'm liberation to, to glorious victory. Cultivate a grand army with over 60 unique characters, from humans and elves Elf? to massive beasts and heavenly angels. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, months, or even years, but I shall see the duties of my bloodline okay. fulfilled. Atlas and Ooh, Vanillaware Atlas. Okay. present the rebirth of tactical fantasy RPGs. They haven't gone Unicorn anywhere. Unicorn Overlord. Available March 8th, 2024. Okay, I don't quite understand the title, but sure. I, again, I love the 2D artwork in that. I keep watering. 
Bitte? Wo ist die Menschen abgeben? Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Nice. Welcome to Evershade Valley. So are they just unifying the titles now? They're dropping the Dark Moon and just making it Luigi's Mansion 2 to fit with 3? Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it out. Time for some mansion mayhem. I'm curious if they're gonna change no the game structure. Is complete without this Cause otherwise it's still the kind of the odd gust. man out with the like mission based structure. Use it structure. to light up dark areas, vacuum up objects, and interact with the environment. It's a handy tool for your paranormal escapades. Plus, when you spot a ghost, pop! Oh God, you can stun them with the strobe ball. Crazy. Then vacuum them up. I apologize, I keep having to wipe my eyes. You can eyes. even grab multiple ghosts at once. In this game, you'll find ghosts haunting, a former plant research lab, a broken down clock factory that's full of sand. Well, said that. Didn't a exactly mine covered sound, in right? ice and snow, and even more places. These troublemakers will use every trick in the book to Hello, block your pup. path. Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Hello, King Boo. Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across different multiplayer oh, modes. Oh, come on! They can't even get like Luigi's good frame rate for the trailer HD there. Creeps onto Nintendo Switch oh, next very summer. stuttery. How was that? Next, we have two announcements to share. Okay. First, please take a look at this video. Gladly. Something Mario related. What's that? Question mark? No, it's a large question block. Actually, on this question roof. block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. Nice. At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. Construction is going well, and we plan to finish up by March 2024. I would love to be able to visit we'll something like that with a car going to Japan, and I don't have the means for that. Time. Please stay tuned. Next, we'd like to share some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. The Zelda and Ganondorf Amiibo figures are releasing on November 3rd. I know people are expecting the Sora and Amiibo, Amiibo figures of for Noah and Mio Smash Ultimate. The Xenoblade yeah. Chronicles 3 nice. game will be released as a set on January 19th, Try the took so long. Didn't play 3 is awesome. And finally, we have a new Amiibo figure to announce. Yeah, the DLC Sora. fighter from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sora from Kingdom is. Hearts, is on the way. With the release of Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in Amiibo form. Please look forward to its release next year. Yeah, a lot year. of people are expecting that because I saw something recently about Smash Ultimate That's getting an update. That's all for today's Amiibo announcements. Next, please take a look at this. F zero. Okay. The rumors were right about something F zero related. Returns as a ninety nine player battle royale. Eh. F zero ninety nine. Okay, you lost Race me. Race on classic F zero courses with machines from the original Super NES game. Tear through courses in high speed races, but be careful. Your power meter will decrease if you crash I mean, into pilots or guardrails. Conceptually, it, zero, it seems cool. And I know that, like, Mario 99 and Pac-Man 99 and, and, and Tetris 99 and, and stuff like that were, like, well-received, but... Feeling risky? The way Nintendo treated those games wasn't great, boost. especially Mario 99 being such a temporary thing. You can also collect super sparks, which appear and when also, machines again, collide, online multiplayer to boost thing. up to a special path called the Skyway. It's your best chance at bypassing your rivals and jumping into a higher position. 
Complete goals while you're racing to unlock cosmetic options for your machine. That's actually kind of neat. Yeah, players, online multiplayer is not my thing. Racing games aren't it's entirely my thing, your so I kind of lost my interest. Because F-099 will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch online members later today. All right, I had my interest level was about down here. Here's the floor. More here's my interest. Years after its original I can't afford release, Switch online F -Zero right now. So. Is back as a battle royale game. This title also supports the Super My NES in the negatives. available exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. We hope you will give it a try and aim for first place. Okay, let's continue with some more headlines. One little hero, one humongous problem. Uh, another League of Legends spinoff? Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical land inhabited Our by small fuzzy cute. beings called Yordles. After a party gets a little too wild, the portals holding the land together oh, collapse like and okay. throw everything into chaos. Multiplayer. It's up to you and your knitting magic to stitch Vandal no, City really back together. Designs. Journey across the land to gather materials and craft items and meals for the locals. That's As you continue neat. gathering and crafting, you can weave together new upgrades by unlocking more branches of the skill tree. Enchant your experience even further by embarking on quests and hosting festivals for the community. Can you save Vandal City? And what mysteries will you discover during your magical adventure? Vandal Tale, a League of Legends story, okay, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Oh my god, I please stop watering. Wait, what? did you hear that? Join best friends, Nunu and Willem, on a journey across the frozen wilds of the Freljord. Jump, climb, and sled your way through a beautiful yet treacherous land, where every step taken and each puzzle solved will bring you closer to the truth though? about these friends and I don't their think physics work like that. Song of Nunu, a League of Legends story, launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 1st. Pre-orders begin today nice on Nintendo eShop. Let's move into formation. Oh, Play with these chumps doesn't feel like a prize. Ah. <laughs> Greetings, welcome to the island. This tropical resort contains tons of micro games that'll get your body moving. No In thanks. Each micro game, you get Good into God. a specific pose called a form. <laughs> Copy the form shown, then perform the correct action as quick as you can. Hand model. The micro games will come one after I'm another. So so look a lot. That voice. Um, where are you in this one? Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Reach the goal without getting caught by Medusa. Three. Okay. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer modes aplenty. Everyone's in for a wacky time. Oh. WarioWare Move It launches right. on the Nintendo Switch system November 3rd. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Like a successor to Smooth Moves, I'm guessing? A heroic tale will soon unfold. Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle and Speak put an up. end to an empire's invasion. Oh, Aiden Chronicle. This got delayed Noah, recently, a humble villager. so... Same Still, I'm officer from the very Empire, interested in learning and more. Marissa, the a forest guardian. Sprite artwork. These three this band together to fight for a common goal. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join Shark. their cause. This is your home base, known as the headquarters. As allies join you, additional facilities will become available. Yes. You'll be able to take I love stuff like that. Shops and more. Each hero you encounter has Base their own building. backstory and motivation. They may not always get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Trust, betrayal, uh, justice, 
and truth. A heroic tale will begin. God, when a Union Chronicle beautiful. 100 Heroes launches on Nintendo April Switch 23rd. April 23rd. I am there for it. I want to play that game so badly. Like... Pixel perfect play. Oh. Next stop, Octopia. Travel to a charming parallel world in this paid DLC for Eastward. Help Sam and John turn the pages of a new chapter as they adjust to country life in a mountainside village. Tend to livestock. Whip up culinary uh, delights for your neighbors. Sure and restore buildings are. to help the village thrive. And if you're new to Eastward, don't worry. You can access the DLC even if you haven't played the main story. Eastward Octopia ventures onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Get back into the groove. In this sequel to War Groove, charge across three tactical uh, campaigns with valiant one. factions, including a new mouse folk faction, the Fari. Squeaks. Plus, you can now supercharge your commander's groove to unleash devastating attacks. Lead a roguelike offensive in conquest mode. Battle friends locally or online. Big mouse. Or create and share your own cutscenes and campaigns. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. War Groove 2 marches onto Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive October 5th. Get out of my way! Pre orders begin today okay. on exactly. Nintendo eShop. Driven. Dive and catch fish by day. Then serve them as sushi by night in the aquatic adventure, Dave the Diver. Oh, okay. That's what that was. Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes about and create the day's menu. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Explore an ever-changing underwater world to find the oh, best ingredients okay. and strive to Strange. exceed culinary <laughs> expectations. Dave the happening? Diver launches first for consoles on the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. Pre-orders and a free demo swim onto Nintendo eShop later today. Oh, well. oh, no, 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 no. The final wave is uh, uh, racing yeah, here in. Is. Okay. Here's a sneak this. peek at Wave 6, the final wave oh. of the Mario Kart 8 like Deluxe that. Booster Course Pass DLC. From the Mario Kart Wii game, Daisy Circuit. More returning nice. characters are also being added in Wave 6. From yep, the yep, Mario Diddy Kart Kong. Double Dash game, I know some people Diddy are theorizing Kong. that. From Mario Kart Wii, oh, funky. funky Kong. Lots of Donkey Kong in this. And from the Mario Direct Kart thing. Tour oh, game, Pauline. Pauline. So no Mario and Kart also Tour. Peach oh, yeah. Yeah. I know Mario Kart Tour, they're stopping adding content to that, apparently. Wave 6 of the Mario Kart Never 8 Deluxe Booster it. Course Pass um, DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game yeah. drives <laughs> onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Active Nintendo Switch Perfect. Online Plus expansion pack members can Mario enjoy this me. DLC at no to, additional but... cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Something new is among, us. among us. I'm so, I'm sorry for such a genuine reaction. I actually think the concept of Among Us is interesting, and it seems like something I would enjoy playing. It's just the fact that there was such hype for it when it first released, or well, not really when it first released, but when it started getting hype, and then it just fell off so fast. This like it just makes it hard for me to take Among Us seriously. Well, oh, bye. new map for Among Us is free and launches this October. 
What did you think? Thanks for sticking with us this far. So, one last Next up, we'd like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September onwards. Let's take a I'm look. I'm curious what the final announcement's gonna be, because usually it's something really big. And there's been some interesting stuff so far, but I don't think there's been anything, like, super, super huge. So I'm curious what the final announcement's gonna actually be. All the big things have been stuff that just kind of updates on previous announcements. We hope you're looking forward to these upcoming titles. I actually am for some This level. next video will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Alright, so let's see what this is. You man! They're remaking Paper Mario? Okay! That was in your door! Oh my god! That's even better! They are remaking Thousand Year Door! I was literally just talking about how I want a new classic style Paper Mario. Okay, that's actually amazing! Also, this music is jamming! <laughs> Yoshi Stampede! Interesting, though, that they jump straight to remaking Thousand Year Door and not the original? Kind of interesting on that. Okay, I'm actually very hyped for that. That's awesome. <laughs> Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, originally released on Nintendo GameCube, will return with enhanced graphics. God, I hope that that Whether you is a sign the that they're going to be returning to the older style of Paper Mario. This adventure in a paper world starring Mario and like, I know Color Splash and Origami King has its fans, but I still think that it's lost a lot of the identity of the series over the years. Okay, yeah, that was a cool direct. Um... For any of you that stuck around to watch this, thank you for watching, um, and I'll see you all in the next video. Um, Sony State of Play later today, probably uploaded tomorrow. Uh, look forward to that, I guess, as long as I'm able to actually record it. It's kind of an inconvenient time. Anyways, bye-bye.